Hey everybody, it's me Lisa, Transcendence Brown, and I am going to try to do a video really quick and to share on a lot of stuff that's going on lately. Um, I'm not using a headset, so I hope you can hear me. Um, if not, I'll find out when I get done. And hopefully we won't have any interruptions because my family has gone off for a little while and due to return very soon. Okay, so I am currently in North Carolina, which has been an amazing experience thus far. I have not even been here 24 hours. Um, I'll go back really quick um, because how all is transpiring is really, really cool. Um, the multidimensional aspect of this has uh, expanded beyond anything any of us uh, could imagine. Um, then again, this entire experience has been that way. So, um, This last week, um, I packed up, and then um, that took a couple days and moved everything to storage so that I could uh, come to North Carolina for the week for my son's wedding. I'm very excited about that. I hadn't seen my family in a year since I'd moved to Kauai. And then go back to move again into another house to get ready for the next phase of bringing forth more for everybody here. The multidimensional aspect um, has expanded and expanded and expanded and continues to expand and more in every moment. We contract, we expand. Oops, my phone. Um, we contract, we expand. But the thing about it is, is that we don't stay contracted very long. And when we're contracted, um, ascension, descension, descend for some, um, ascend for others. It depends on where you are at in this journey. And for me, um, the ascension journey uh, continues beyond physical ascension in human form um, last year. And to now just be a multidimensional uh, experience uh, continually in... Um, open-eyed waking state uh, in physical and walking in the different dimensions and realms and being aware of what is actually occurring at all times here and I write this and share this and translate this for others um, in two forms of language one in human and one in light and um, many have asked me how uh, this happens is because a lot of people are falling asleep um, to my uh, in the classes courses in private sessions and in person when I connect with them. And um, it is because that when I speak, I speak human, and I speak a light all at the same time in multiple frequencies. And so that when I transmit, I transmit in uh, multiple dimensions. Uh, and so I connect soul to soul, and I connect in light. And in human, I speak the words that make sense um, to the heart. And and the logical mind uh, as well, um, but not from a logical standpoint, um, from a place of understanding from beyond here, one that allows us to remember, remember more, uh, one that activates uh, one's own light further, which is why people go to sleep. We activate them very fast now, um, and many all at the same time. So my light language is different than others, uh, not really. Uh, we all have our own way of doing this. Mine is in speaking the human English language and also speaking in light uh, and transmitting tones and frequencies uh, when I talk mm, so that one gets a maximum um, amount of light in every way um, in order to understand more in both realities, physical and etheric, um, if you want to call it energy, body, consciousness, is what I prefer. Um, etheric is a, a state that I don't really connect much with, other than when I just close my eyes, and it still is not what other people um, experience much here. Mm. Anyway. Okay, so, multidimensional. Wow, this is an amazing experience lately. Um, activating keys and codes, um, activating more of my own multidimensional aspect, um, being conscious in multiple dimensions all at one time here in a physical waking state, multiple parallels, um, alternate realities, being able to synchronize them and, and merge them and bring them forth to become one, able to call forth realities, able to activate um, different ones. It is quite amazing what we can do now. Now, the thing about it is, is that when we have the veils put back for us so that we can see something that needs to be cleared, it's not much fun because we actually um, 
no longer expand multiple dimensions in a waking state uh, here. Um, what we do is we, I call it contract, um, but basically the veils are put back. We still walk in multiple dimensions, and we're very aware that they're still there. Um, being able to physically move between them is not as available here anymore, and we are walking between the veils um, at that point, not from outside of them, um, which is a confusing place for many, especially if they understand what's going on. If they don't, it's even more confusing. Uh, the frequencies right now are really, really high, uh, transmitting, and that I'm listening to. <laughs> So there is a huge blast um, today going on, which has been occurring apparently for everybody lately. I'm aware of it. I hear it. Um, I'm not much affected by it other than just appreciating it and taking every bit of it in that I can. Um, traveling here by airplane was quite interesting uh, because as I moved physically, my physical body dimensionally, um, from Kauai that holds at least the fifth dimension and higher um, automatically, which is why so many people um, can't stay there very long or it's a very intense experience for them is because you have to embody this frequency um, in order to be able to do this. Now, a lot of people there are still oblivious, and that's okay. Um, when it's time, it'll be their time um, because once one starts to awaken, then they have to make that choice, they have to um, start putting this first, otherwise things will be removed from their reality in order to force them into this place. Now there is no forcing, that is something we chose, we programmed inside our own DNA. Um, these are words we use uh, for the sake of understanding how things occur here. Um, as I got on the plane and I came to fly to mainland, um, I actually physically moved from one dimension to another. Now the thing about it is, is once we come to embody multiple dimensions, we're not as affected by it anymore. It really was not big of a deal, except for the things that I noticed that occurred along the way. One, in the old days, my physical body, when I wasn't unified, my light body wasn't unified in, in every way, um, and all the density gone, my physical body would blow up, I would have a really rough time, I would get sick, human's words. I would um, just, it took forever to recuperate. I could have never flown 20 something hours and still been going just amazingly without um, something being off. Now, when I woke up this morning, my body, well last night my body said I'm tired, you gotta go to sleep because my energy was still going and I was still fine other than the fact that I laid down for about an hour because I had just gone, 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 passed out, awoke awake, ready to go, um, pretty much except my physical body said, I can't take it anymore, you've got to give me some sleep. I'm like, okay. So I go to bed. Now before I did, um, I had um, activated so much energy um, that I needed to expand. And so I went and took a really long bath and allowed for my energy to expand um, and unify. And, and then I got up and I went to bed. Now, bed, sleep was a clearing um, state, it appears. There wasn't much going on there um, that I'm aware of. I woke up. It appeared to be a bit more human, uh, but it wasn't um, because in my world it's not very human uh, anymore. It's just a different space that we occupy as we move and move and move. I was aware uh, that my physical body had had enough and so my face was all blowed up at pockets under my eyes. I hadn't had all of this happen in a really long time. My body said, okay, you overdid it. You've killed me. Give me a break. Um, nurture and repair. Allow uh, me to synchronize and back in light to my highest frequency again, which I did. Um, I pampered my physical body. I raised my vibration really, really high. I thank goodness for coconut oil, and I was able to um, clear energetically really quick, and, and um, coffee for me helps me a lot. So I had my coffee, I had my water, I don't need much food, I have, eating has pretty much gone out the window, I don't eat anymore it seems, except for the occasional whatever. Um, okay, so amnesia, I want to talk about... Dimensional amnesia. We experience this every time we expand. Now, physical 
experience of this as we move our bodies around was quite interesting to me because when I left Kauai and got on the plane, the amnesia started coming back and I started forgetting. Not really. It became a very distant memory being in Kauai. Even the people that I'd been around lately, um, it seemed very distant and really far off. And that's how a dimension feels. It's really far off when we're not physically in it or expanded to encapsulate it here. Um, so I just observed and went, wow, I'm forgetting everybody and everything. That's kind of cool. And it went. We're getting slammed right now. So y'all know I'm a happy girl. I love uh, frequency activations. Okay. So as I flew, I was able to observe the density, uh, the light. Um, I was able to observe the changes and the shifting of frequencies and all that occurred on that and that alone. Everything is such a huge experience now. It's really cool and it's so simple. Um, I was able to observe the different areas, uh, mainland, as I went through them and the energies and the frequencies and how things felt and, and just the people and observe. Um, when I got to Dallas, well, okay, we did San Jose, which was beautiful because we had several people come out and spend... Um, the night with me on my layover, which was beautiful because they picked me up. We went um, to Denny's nearby and sat and talked and I shared. And um, then we cleared some stuff that needed to be cleared for some. And just beautiful, beautiful experience. And so I want to say thank you to those who joined us because it was uh, magnificent to be able to meet those of you that I've been interacting with on Facebook and in personal sessions and stuff along the way. So thank you, especially for driving so far in the middle of the night and staying up all night with me and taking me back to the airport. And for those who come out this next week, I will say thank you in advance. And those who don't, I'll be working anyway um, in the airport because <laughs> I never stop. Um, okay, so... San Jose, when I got ready to leave, was quite interesting because I got uh, dropped off at the wrong terminal, so I had to walk, and I just slowed time down and got there. Um, they, my ticket was all messed up, um, not really, because for me, everything serves a purpose, so I was aware, okay, this is a glitch, just keep going, flowing, don't worry about it, and glitch upon glitch upon glitch, and I just didn't even care, just kept going, and you know what, everything was perfect, everything that other people would get really riled up about, I just flowed, um, all my glitches just worked themselves out, I just stood there and let people take care of things, um, going through the terminals, everybody has a stroke on this, not me, I just went on through it, you know what, need to pat you down, okay, need to swab your hands, okay, smiling, people happy, it's amazing, don't care, that's a physical world thing, y'all get all worried about it, I don't. Okay, so, get on the plane. Um, it was cool because two of the planes here, I had empty seats next to me the whole time so I could work and do whatever I wanted to. And when I needed to sleep, I slept uh, for a little while. Um, beautiful. Um, the area of San Jose was just very, um, when I left, um, I, I could observe all the glitches and stuff. It all worked itself up. Got on the plane. Absolutely beautiful area. Um, actually looking fat forward to going back there maybe and doing some stuff. Maybe a workshop or something. We'll see. Um, then Dallas. Wow, that was an experience. Um, lots of anger. Lots of fast paced. Lots of chaos. Just in the airport alone, they switched um, the terminal that I was flying out of. I probably only had about 45 minutes once I off-boarded. And everybody else was running around like crazy, and I was just walking really slow. Got to the first uh, terminal that I was going to leave from, and they were in chaos. So I just waited, charged my phone. A few minutes later, everybody was complaining, having a rough time. They're like, okay, we moved you down to another terminal. So I walked from that end all the way to the other end after they'd given me the wrong terminal to start with, but I knew that it was wrong. So I just asked somebody and turned around and went right on back. By the time I'd gotten to the third terminal, people were really upset. We got there and they're like, okay, we've moved you again. Get up and move. I think we were on five or six terminal moves in, thir in 45 minutes. And, and I sat there. For 30 minutes waiting to get on the plane, I had plenty of time. We slow time down. Time doesn't exist for us. I just watched everybody get upset, have a really rough time. I was transmitting light. It was sharing light. I was doing whatever I needed to do to raise the vibrational frequency there at the airport. And of the entire city, the whole land area, and just transmit and just affect 
every smiling and, and you name it, all kinds of cool things. Got on the plane. Soon as we hit Charlotte, boy, the density, the clouds. And I was taking pictures along the way where I could. Um, blanketed in density. And I went, whoa, this is going to be fun. Flew through it. And I, I saw all of the grid, light grids and the connections and, and how everything weaves together way up in the sky, way, way, way above the clouds and then all the way through the clouds down to the ground and how the uh, an energetic light grid or the gridding um, connects and, and how it weaves. It's absolutely beautiful. The only thing that I saw was that here um, there was a lot of work to be done while I'm here. And so that I saw how um, I am supposed to use my own energetic field and I am to um, actually go in and connect the grid work here and amplify it and radiate it with, with all kinds of different frequencies and light. Um, I've been working with the weather here, the elements, in order to um, release the density and from the sky. Um, my grandbaby and I did this this morning. We go outside and, and we connect energetically and he's been helping me with it. It's our job together uh, to bring forth sunshine here and to release the density through the elements as well. And uh, I spent this morning with him, teaching him uh, to remember the energy of plants and the earth and uh, beautiful things. And as soon as Grandma hit here, he's like, Grandma, you brought me a crystal? And I'm like, yes, I did. And so he utilizes his magical crystal, um, cleansed it, charged it in the sun, planted it in a plant, got it out, took it to bed, and he carries it around, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, lots of work to do here. There's a lot of grid work that is frayed and missing connections, which is what I will be working on um, for the collective um, energies here. And I will be doing that. I can do it simultaneously while I'm doing other things, uh, which is working with you guys and sharing on here. Um, while connecting with people in groups, I'm actually going to be making my son's wedding my priority and not everything else, while also maybe meeting up with some other people wanting to meet in North Carolina if that happens. It's beautiful and because I'll come back here and do some workshops. Um, there's a lot of work to do and we never stop. Um, the amnesia, I want to go back to that because that was really cool. When I woke up this morning, expansion had already occurred. Unification already occurred, my light body already amped up, transmitting light. Uh, we can do this very quickly now, and the um, amnesia goes. So I'm back uh, within just a couple hours of waking up to full memory and open-eyed state of all of the realms and being able to interact um, in all of them in a waking state and expand again. Um, I want to say a huge thank you just for a moment for all of those who are stepping up to help me and support me in the work that I do. It's been a really long haul these last many years um, because I was one of those that said, and we have to do this as way shores. You know what? I'll do it all by myself. And one day someone will come along and help out. And there's been a long journey of the someone's coming along to help out. And recently I was shown they're coming. And all of a sudden people started popping out of nowhere saying we want to help. You have touched my heart. Immensely. <laughs> because as humans, hey, it was a really long haul. So, my heart to yours, soul to soul, thank you for all the work that you're doing to help me and all that I'll do in return to help you out. And sharing my courses and sharing and doing sessions and what I can to help along the way. And so our connecting, our unifying, our co-creations together it means so very much to me. Um, so I just want to say a huge thank you to you because it means more than words can ever say. Um, I will be speaking and sharing on soul connections, divine soul reunions, um, some of my own as well, um, how that is occurring and how we... Um, hold um, our relationships now to those of the higher realms, um, the observance of us in human form, the unification to become a, an entire new race here, our humans 
or, or human, H-U-E-H-U, capital, whatever, uh, man, um, our divine essence uh, embodied in the physical. Um, how we actually are able to honor another needs to be human, another's need to be human, um, still, uh, while not um, catering to that aspect, recognizing it and allowing space for that one to grow. Um, it also means holding a vibration so high that it um, amplifies their field so that they can actually exist in our world now. Um, there's a lot going on with this. Um, and I, too, met some challenges a, a week or so ago in observing all of those choosing to suffer. Um, and, and I had to allow that to occur. Um, I had to clear that from my own physical um, body and need um, in order to continue to do what I do. Um, what was cool was once I did that, only it took a couple of days or so for everything to synchronize, for the realities to lift, and for everybody to be able to walk in unison and, and higher light um, again um, as beings and together. Um, so there's a lot going on with that, and I will share that. Um, that's probably a whole another 10,000 videos as well as anything else. So... Um, let's see what else I can talk about that might help right now before I go. Um, we're no longer affected by the density in the physical. And once we synchronize um, all of our bodies in light, um, we're able to walk uh, from one realm to another, one dimension to another, and embody and encapsulate them all here. We do have a period of amnesia as we walk from one to the other. Then we just synchronize right back up all of our bodies, and then the amnesia goes. Um, veils are gone. Uh, we don't exist behind them anymore. Um, we just see that they have been um, raised or lifted. We just keep going. We work within the realms that we have available in the physical at the time. But we no longer um, drop into one. We no longer exist in one single dimension anymore. Uh, we completely um, expand to be multiple ones. Now, one really cool part of this is that the limit of dimensions is where we were limited which means that in human we're very limited we're very we live in boxes everything is fixed realities are um i have been able to observe the fixed realities the boxes the limits that people hold and and try to assist them in letting go and expanding beyond them but some don't want to let go and that was a part of my um new place i had to come to was if they don't want to let go uh, let them go and they'll they'll figure it out when they're ready. They'll do it when they're ready. Just keep going because there are so many out there who are ready, and those are the ones we're re here to reach and assist. And while we hold a certain amount of light, that is this all, all at the same time. Um, the ability to be unlimited comes with the ability to not exist in one dimension anymore, the ability to hold all of these frequencies inside and embody them in order to expand, to be in multiple dimensions all at one time. Here we are no longer limited. Here we no longer um, are bound by the physical restraints any longer. They go. They were ours. We held them inside. And we exist as the unified field, which means abundance and prosperity and everything coming forth that everybody's been looking and waiting for. That it gets activated when we activate new realities, when we activate new parallels, when we do what we're supposed to do, as dimensional beings here, as multidimensional beings here, and we synchronize all in light and to the same frequency um, here and here. Um, it is a multitude of things that we have to do, and we learn as an alchemist how to combine and do all of these things at one time. We learn to simultaneously exist in multiple dimensions, multiple parallel parallels, and how to unify them into one new alternate reality here and we hop and we shift and we jump quantum style from one to another and they merge. It is quite interesting um, how all of this works together and um, I enjoy sharing it with every one of you who enjoy hearing it um, or reading it as I write and share um, along the way. So I think that I have talked enough today um, and for now I have a session to do so I will go um, I am minimizing my sh sessions right now. I'll start them again. Uh, I've put some up. I'll um, build upon that the next couple days. Um, especially those who are going through um, Lauren Gailey's, uh, L L Lauren Gailey's um, healing conversations, um, acoustic healing. Uh, the um, 
um, quantum series that she's got going right now. Uh, many are taking advantage of the huge specials that are being offered there and, and receiving a ton of the work that I've done over the years, um, all of the activations and one of the books in MP3, no, sorry, in PDF format, and the Walk With Me online video course, along it with um, either um, an online course, don't like the word course, but it's all I got right now, workshop, and sharing, whatever. Um, and also the, um, or a personal session, um, online that's video recorded. So there's a lot going on, um, and, and more to come as, cause you know, we never stop here. So if you're utilizing one of those, then I've set it up to where you can just book your own session with the time that works for you. And then I will show up, get you all set up and get everything going. The online mastery community going to be active with that again in the next couple of weeks. Once I get back on Kauai. Um, and the Ascension, um, Sacred Ascension Journeys, uh, people are emailing me about right now, coming to the island to do those, We're working on setting those up. And I have um, some people that are stepping up and helping me on the island now, and some of the book signings and, and interactive events, and going to be an international, I think it's like an international peace day up at Papayas and Kapa'a, and we'll have a table and passing out um, the first book that I wrote to several people that come and speaking and sharing light and remembering as well. So we have a lot that we're doing and anchoring in the physical here. Um, and so thank you. And for all of you that are assisting uh, financially to help me and, and support the work that I do, it is so very much appreciated uh, because um, we all of us had to go through the struggle part of this uh, ourselves in order to transcend that as well. And then we activate a reality where those who can assist and support are coming for um, to assist us as well. So thank you for this because we have a lot of work to do and we are releasing the limits and boundaries every time we come together and support each other as well. So I will say I absolutely, immensely love you beyond here and I appreciate every one of you for the work that you're doing as well and for anchoring and bringing forth the realities that we all had working in in the um, closed eyed state before and now a waking one on new earth new earth here in the physical no matter where i go it comes with me i bring new earth and i share it and i am activating new earth in the physical here and all the places that i am going and and the, the grass is not green here but it will be when i get done the sun is not shining but it will be um, and those that we're connecting with in order to do this um in groups. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So I'm looking forward to sharing with many of you and thank you for sharing with me. I will be seeing you. Yes, I'm only posting on Facebook right now. I'm unable to interact much while I travel, um, but there's lots going on. So thank you. I love you and mahalo.